Hey, I'm Ryan Hansen with Hansen Carlin Architecture and Construction, and we're here today to talk to you a little bit about the EcoWarm Radiant Floor Heating. So I have um, a couple of tips that I'd like to give you as you think about starting to install this on your job. Number one, make sure that you have the right tools as you put all of this in place. So you're going to want a really good cult gun, buy a heavy duty construction grade adhesive, and you're going to want to put a really good bead of caulk around the entire board before you put it on your subfloor. If you're going to all this work, the last thing you're going to want is squeaks. Number two is get the right screw gun to put this stuff down. You can see on this floor, we put in somewhere in the neighborhood of 4,000 screws. It's about a 4,000 square foot house. That's a lot of screws. So we actually used a gun that's modified from drywall where you can just, as, as you stand, be able to attach the screws right into this. It helps save a ton of time and it's also going to save your knees and back as you go through this. So make sure that you get the right tools as you're putting this in. Make sure that you get your subfloor really clean. So you're not going to want to have anything on the subfloor that would get in the way of your adhesive product. And you're also going to want to make sure that you clean off any of the little bumps that'll create those squeaks. So number three is as you're cutting these boards, so they come in 23 and a half inches by 47 inches long sheets. They're pretty small actually. You're going to want to cut them in a way where you do it on a table saw every time. We've tried doing it with a skill saw and I'll tell you what, you get it just a little bit off and your layout is just going to kill you the rest of the way through the install. So make sure that you use a table saw, it's a little bit more time consuming, but then you'll get a nice clean cut and all of these are designed to click together in a way that the tubing will connect to the next one. If you get that off, now you're using a router or you're having to modify every single subsequent piece that is not an afternoon that you want to spend and it'll kill your productivity. So make sure that you get that right. The other thing is we snap lines on a wall like this. So you snap a line. I went about a half of an inch off, so 24 inches off the wall. So that way, if there's a little bit of variation out of square, we're able to keep a straight line. And so then as you run your pieces across the floor and you get to a corner like this, what we found is the best practice is you actually want to come over here and lay out all of these pieces before putting any glue down. So if you have the panels running in, you're gonna cut and lay out these pieces, and then you cut the ones in the middle between them to the correct length. So what that does, you can see an example here, so you have a really small piece. So we laid this one out at 24 inches off the wall. We had come into this way, so we knew we needed about a six inch piece that would go right here. You don't wanna to get to where you're fighting it against the end or having to cut these. So if you lay it out beforehand, get everything ready, then you flip them up, glue them, screw them down, and you're gonna get a really nice finished product. The next thing I wanna to talk to you about is where you router into the manifold. So I use this little Milwaukee router. Might actually suggest something a little heavier duty. This was quite the workout for this little guy, but you're gonna to wanna to take these pieces of plywood and before you screw them down, actually work to loose fit them in here I drew some lines on here of how I wanted the tubes to go. And then you can see as we've done the tubing install here, actually just cut the piece off and I'll fill it with a little bit of concrete there, just self leveler to get it into the manifold nice the way that you want it. But, okay, so EcoWarm is actually gonna send you AutoCAD drawings that lay out each floor. Now, there's a couple of really important things to know here. I actually like the page that they send you that shows you the tubing route and the directions that they're gonna um, be sending the flow. What you'll find is this isn't always 100% accurate, which is okay. I actually I stopped stressing about these numbers. And really, if you get the cuts right and you're able to follow the routes in a way that makes sense, it's not too bad. So don't stress if you get to a place where you say, I actually don't need a two here because this is a little bit different um, on the actual job site. That's just fine. You just wanna make sure that the tubing is gonna run in a way that makes sense. The other thing that really confused me is they'll send you this list and this would be feedback to EcoWarm. The numbers that they send you on how to cut these boards don't actually match the numbers on the AutoCAD drawing. That was just horrible for me for a while. So all you really need to understand is the theory of you have two types of boards. You have straights, you'll see over here, and then you have combos. And you're gonna cut the combos horizontally, so half a 23 and a half, 11 and three quarters, or you're gonna cut them vertically like this, two pieces of that at 23 and a half. Then from there, you can cut them into additional smaller pieces 
and those will make various loops that they show in the AutoCAD drawing. They actually do a really nice job. That's where the numbers are helpful to say, you might want a combo 15, but again, just know they're calling a 15 a nine on the plan. I don't know why that is. It's super confusing. So if you look at it on the plan, you'll kind of be able to figure it out, but don't get too caught up if, if you don't know the exact numbers or you have to make changes on the job. The last thing that we want to talk to you about is plywood filter. So there's going to be a lot of places where you're not actually going to run heat. Obvious places like underneath cabinets here. The other thing to pay attention to is if you think about a toilet, you're gonna have a wax ring that goes here. You're not gonna wanna heat up next to that wax ring or you're gonna have a lot of problems and be tearing stuff out. So they recommend to offset it back about eight inches. I, you can see, went quite a bit beyond that just because I didn't wanna risk it and I figured this room is gonna be plenty warm um, the way that we have it laid out. So that's another example where you can tweak the plan a little bit as you go. Well, the other thing I would say about the plywood is cut this and do it as you go. It is very time consuming. It's overall um, not a super fun task. So each room that we did, we'd lay out the eco warm and then we would actually go ahead and cut the plywood and just fill it all in as we go. Helps make the job a lot easier. So if you're considering, should I or should I not do eco warm? I'll tell you what, it's a lot of work. Um, it's not the cheapest solution out there. Having gone through and done this as our first job, I would say I would recommend it to customers moving forward who do really want a premium experience. I would say the service level of their AutoCAD drawings is outstanding. The product itself is phenomenal. We've had this down on the floor for a couple of weeks now as we've been doing window jams and other work. It's held up exceptionally well. There's no tears, no poles in the plywood or in the uh, aluminum cover. So it's an excellent product. Total time that we had on this job, again, about a 4,000 square foot house. There's a lot of twists and turns in this home. We're at about 100 hours for laying down the board itself. An additional probably 35 hours running the tube and hooking it up to the manifolds. And that doesn't count all of the hours we placed back in the framing stage into getting the manifolds in the house. So it's very labor intensive. It is an expensive solution, but it's probably the best solution that you can get for a really nice heating solution for your home. So I would overall recommend it and think that it beats a lot of the competitors on the market.